Okay, so taking apart and cleaning the saxophone, also very important. Taking apart cut is exactly the opposite of what putting together was. So first thing, protect your reed. They are expensive and they break easily. Take your reed off and put it back in its little case. This is a funny kind. There's also other kinds um, and your teacher or your band teacher will show you how to do that. But the reed just goes back in its little case. That keeps it flat and protected. We really, we do not want to put our reeds in our case. The reason for that is over time, the water in this reed will make it, uh, what's the word? Grooved, um, and it'll kind of bend in a funny way. So we want to keep it in a flat, concealed area, like a reed case. So make sure you put your reed in its home. Then you take off the mouthpiece, our store sells little mouthpiece brushes that you can kind of brush out. I have a really nice silk swab, which you can also get at Middle C. I think they're between $10 and $20. Um, mine actually fits all the way through the mouthpiece, so you just kind of drop that weight down and pull it through. Like I said, the scrub brush works the same way. And then you tuck the reed or the mouthpiece and its ligature back in its little home in there firmly. Always keep the ligature with the mouthpiece. Chances are you have a metal mouthpiece or metal ligature. Metal ligatures will crunch really easily so we want to put them over the mouthpiece to keep them protected and put the mouthpiece in its home. Alright now the neck comes off next. Same thing kind of twist back and forth. If you have a really fat kind of circular um, cleaning swab, you don't want to stick it through this mouth or the neck piece. It will not fit and it will get stuck. If you have a silk swab or a special kind of, um, they kind of are a triangle type, maybe I'll get a cleaning swab actually. Same thing, you can stick that through. So the weight goes through the neck piece, comes out the other end and you pull it through. I usually do that twice when I'm cleaning. And then the neck piece goes back in its little home. Finally, the bell, the body of the saxophone. So the neck, or the, the weight, goes into the bell. And you want to make sure that the, the string goes in straight. So I don't recommend just wadding it up and throwing it down there. You want to make sure that it's going in straight. Kind of stick it all the way in there, hold it in there, turn the saxophone upside down, and it should all spill out. Sometimes if you wad it up, it'll get stuck halfway down and it won't. So. Just always make sure that you can pull out either end. And then you just drag it through. And I do that anywhere between two and five times, depending on how many minutes or hours I practiced. So we're gonna do it twice today. So you stick the weight in the bell, make sure the string goes in straight, hold it in there, turn the saxophone upside down, string spills out, pull it through. All right, then, we wrap up our cleaning swab. You never want to stick it back in the plastic things that they come in when we rent instruments here or sell our uh, cleaning kits because it, this has moisture in it now and if we stick it in a plastic container it'll mold. So you just want to make sure it can air out. You can put it in your case. The case gets enough air. I have a gig case so everything kind of goes in that little hole right there. And then most of our saxophones, most of the band saxophones, come with this kind of weird little top. This top goes on the top of the body of the saxophone. That's just an extra protection. If you ever drop your horn, please don't do that, or your case. In case the saxophone lands, we don't want that part of the body to crunch. So this little cap protects that. So make sure that's in there. And then the saxophone just fits back in the case the way it should. And then you zip it up. Whenever your saxophone is in its case, either leave the case open or make sure it's zipped or locked completely. We never want to pick up the instrument when it's unzipped or locked. So locked it up and you're ready to go.